Hey there, Scott again. And in this video, we're gonna walk through some of the automation within the Kartra platform in relation to your authority engine uh, three-in-one system. So here we're looking at an email that a, uh, a prospective visitor of yours would receive after they've downloaded your free Reprogram Your Mind for Success ebook. And again, it's very, very simple to edit. And I've gone to the trouble of actually writing some of the emails within the sequence for you. So there's very minor edits that you need to make but let's walk through exactly how this works and it's not too dissimilar to the uh, to the page builder so as an example we've built a template here we've already got the download hooked up so we've got a button here we've got some things that they'll learn to reinforce exactly why they should be downloading the book congratulations on wanting to learn how to abc without xyz I know this free ebook can help you very quickly learn how to do just that we've got a, a, a header here with a, a logo in here and we've got a footer as well and a logo signature. So let's walk through exactly how you can actually edit this from start to finish. And then once you're done, a very, very easy way that you'll only really need to do basic edits ever, uh, ever again. So the first thing you might wanna do is maybe black isn't a color scheme that you would like to use within your own personal branding. So you can change that fairly simply again, similar to the page builder, we go to the edit pencil icon, we'll click on that. And then this will open up and you can change the background of that. We can make that whatever, color you want. It's very, very straightforward. And then once that's done, that will automatically change for you. If you want to change the logo here, again, edit. We might want to upload an image. So again, you might want to choose, a, uh, let's, sorry, bear with me. I'm just going to find a, just going to find a, an icon here that's worth putting in here. So you might just put that in, that will upload for you. And that automatically changes for you. It's very, very straightforward. And then very similarly with the um, text editor in the page builder video, again, we just click on the edit button and like a Word doc, you can edit whatever you choose to within this particular section here. You can add in images, you can add in bullet points. As I've already mentioned, you can add in um, buttons as well. And all you really need to do is change the colors, add in the uh, add in the icons that you would like to, to use. You can make them wider, smaller, whatever you see fit based on what you'd like to do. And again, we can change out the image here by in this instance, clicking the plus button and picking an image again. And that will load. And then it's done. It's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. And then once you've completed that, all you need to do is hit the edit button and that will save. And that's the first message within that particular sequence for you. But the trick I want to show you here is very, very uh, useful. So you don't have to recreate these uh, templates every single time. You can go down here, for example, and hit the save as template button. And what that does, it'll take a few seconds and it'll actually save that as a template for you. And once that's saved, which is just taking a little bit longer than I would have liked, but there we go. So now that's saved, you can then go into this section here where you can go to design templates and you have a choice of using your own template. And here is that exact template. And all you need to do is drag and drop. So next time within the, uh, within the editing process of the emails, all you'll need to do is drag and drop and then put in your own um, pieces of text and you're good to go. That way you don't have to recreate everything from scratch. So look, that's it from an email design point of view. Let's just move on and have a look at some of the other lists and sequences in this process. So as mentioned earlier, there are three lists within the authority engine campaign. There's a simple opt-in list, a strategy call list, and an ebook download list. And the uh, email that we just edited came from the ebook download list. And as I've just mentioned, there's a strategy call and an opt-in list. So if you ever want to edit any of these, again, go to the pencil icon, and you can do a number of things here. If you want to change the name of the list from Authority Engine to Steve's opt-in, whatever you think is suitable for your memory, by all means, put that in there and hit edit, and that will change that for you. So they're the three lists that you have available to you, and they're for, very three, they're for three very specific reasons. One is for the individuals who opt in who want to hear more from you. 
and they like what you have to say in terms of um, your content as an example and they potentially need to be nurtured. The second is the strategy call list, which basically walks them through the process after they booked a strategy call with you to continue to get the know, like, and trust factor being built and make sure that they actually arrive on that call on the date that they've scheduled. And then the ebook download list, which we've just touched on there. So they're the three lists within this particular campaign. And as I've just mentioned, that's how you can edit them. But the next thing we're going to look at in a little bit more detail is the actual sequences that sit within each of these email lists. So as I've mentioned, there's six sequences within the three email lists. This is the sequence for the list opt-in. This is the sequence for when they purchase membership. In this instance, the reprogram your mind for success video training series. There's a sequence for those who abandon cart. So for example, those who get to the cart section and they're looking as though they're about to purchase the reprogram your mind for success membership option, but they pull out at the last minute. We have automation in there to assess when somebody's landed on that uh, particular page, but haven't actually gone through to purchase. And we're gonna try and reinvigorate them and nurture them to go back to purchase another time perhaps. Then there's the strategy call offer funnel, and then there's a strategy call booked uh, sequence as well. And then the ebook uh, sequence that I've also just mentioned. So let's, as an example, look at the uh, first one. So your list opt-in as an example. So we'll hit the edit icon. And now we're actually gonna to wanna to edit this particular sequence. So we'll hit edit. And it will load the sequence builder for us in just a few seconds. And the beauty is, is that when you first arrive in Kartra, each of these sections will have their own little tutorial section. So all you need to do is hit start tutorial to give you some basic information to help you get started. And you can take the step-by-step -step mini tutorial until it's finished. Now, once you've got the hang of this, you don't need to use it again. You can hit next and then you can either don't show again or just go to straight, let's get started. So as you can see here, we've got sequences built up over several days. And this is again, to nurture new members or new visitors to your site to hopefully in the future become customers. So there are a number of ways you can go about doing this. We have some automation already built in here, but let's look at the email itself. And again, we click on the three little buttons and we go to edit. Now there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to take care of in this particular section. So for example, the gateway. The gateway will need to be yourself. At the moment, it's set up as my gateway um, because I'm using my Kartra platform. But again, all you need to do is hit the edit icon. And once you've actually set up your uh, email messaging through uh, the Kartra platform, this should automatically convert to your details anyway. But be sure before you send out any emails that you've actually changed the gateways to your own. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at potentially is the automation. Now, again, I'd highly recommend leaving this be at the moment, but effectively what's happened is, is that we've been able to allocate points to, uh, to your leads. So we get a, a better overall picture about their interactions with you. So we can begin to, s to tailor some future offers to them. Perhaps we get a, a bit more of a snapshot of who they are and how much they're interacting with you. And the way that's done is in this instance, from an automation perspective, anytime a lead clicks on a link within an email, we'll give them 20 points. And any time a lead purely opens the email, but maybe doesn't necessarily click on the link, they get 10 points. So we're obviously gonna to start to see who is engaging with us more often by those who are having higher points because they're clicking more of our links and obviously seeing more of our offers and what we have to say. And again, I wouldn't recommend touching this, but again, you can definitely do so if you choose. But what you're actually gonna to want to be able to edit is the email content itself. So the first email in the series literally says, Thanks for joining my list, first name. And that first name is a placeholder which will automatically change to the person's name after they've opt in. And again, we go to the edit tab and we'll open it up. And in this instance, I've just come up with a very simple um, template for you. And you can use the template that we designed earlier and you can pop that in there or you can just change this out as you go. And depending on your industry, your needs and your potential uh, ideal customer avatar, you would then provide them with some form of email um, content that showcases some of your abilities, capabilities and what you would like them to do next. And all you need to do is edit that and then edit. It'll check a spam score. So as an example, to make sure that you have a higher deliverability rate than um, some of the other people that uh, might be in your marketplace, if you're 
completely spamming your email list with things like free offers and lots of um, exclamation marks that'll come as a come up as a higher spam score and it might not have the same deliverability if you're actually providing genuine value for your particular uh, for your particular audience so in this instance we'll assume that this step is now done we'll hit close and then we can move on to the next in the sequence so in this particular instance, we go through the same process, but what you'll notice here is that I've set this up to go out at certain days and times. So the first email will arrive one hour after they've initially opted in, and that really should just be very much a, a thank you and a, and a welcome to your community. Email two goes out two days and one hours later, then another two days, then another two days. So there's a sequence of eight emails that are set up here for you that will go out every two days after and in that initial nurture phase you want to contact your potential new opt-in on a regular basis but not so regular that it becomes annoying so what you can do then is think of eight emails that are value packed that would actually get your new opt-in and potential new customer excited about the potential to work with you and when you've done all you need to do is hit the done and exit and all of that saved for you it's very 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 straightforward so the next sequence we can look at is the ebook sequence. And this will give you a bit of an idea of exactly um, what a sequence would look like with some actual emails attached. So we've already looked at the, the first ebook um, uh, download, uh, download email. And after that, we'll move into email two and we'll show you what that looks like. So again, we'll edit this. And again, don't forget to make the necessary edits in relation to your gateway and the email content here the headline is don't forget to download your ebook so this is designed for those individuals that didn't bother downloading their ebook after that first email this is essentially a reminder to make sure that they do so so the automation is then split if they've downloaded the ebook they don't necessarily need to receive any emails straight away from this list but we really do want uh, your new visitors to begin consuming your content so this is a reminder so again, you can make the edits as we touched on before, and we say, hi, first name, I thought I'd better send you another email with your free ebook download details in case you didn't receive the last one. Congratulations on taking action on how to ABC without XYZ. And again, all you need to do is make the relevant edits and hit save and you're good to go. And then that particular, um, that particular sequence is almost done because we have one more reminder. And again, we can hit edit. And then the last email in this particular sequence starts with, is everything okay, first name? And now we're really trying to put a, a bit more of a stronger call to action around making sure that they actually download that particular ebook. So it now says, hi, first name, I see that you still haven't actually downloaded the ebook you requested yet and wondered if you're having any issues. Now. Technically, there's not going to be any issues. This is set up to all go out automatically and it's good to go. But it's just a, another, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it, an excuse for you to reach out to your uh, new opt-in and make sure that they're downloading the content that they signed up for. It's all very well having a new opt-in and, and another new potential customer or prospect within your database. But if they're not actually taking action and reading or visiting or seeing your content and actually having the opportunity to get you to nurture them through the no like and trust factors, then really it's an opt-in for opt-in sake. So you really do want to make sure where you can that they consume the content that you're offering free or not. And through this particular set of automation, you'll be able to do just that. So we'll look, with that being said, it's very, very simple. Hopefully you've got an idea of exactly how this works. Whether it's this tutorial, you'll also have the tutorials at the start of the sequence section, so you can follow them if you do get confused. But otherwise, it's a fairly straightforward process to go through this whole, this whole process. So hopefully you've got some value out of this video. Again, if you do have any questions about how to make any edits or how to set up the sequences or you have any confusion whatsoever, feel free to shoot me an email at my help desk and I'll get back to you at the earliest available opportunity. But that's it for this video for now. Talk to you next time.